Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening, dearly beloved. Good evening, all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to thank you. I just want to say that I appreciate you. I just want to let you know that God is going to increase you. He's going to bless you because he see that you're taking time out to be here, to study, to listen to the word of God. You're educating yourself. You're strengthening your body, your spirit, and your soul, and your mind. And you're preparing yourself for the end times. Father God, in the name of Jesus, continue to bless continue to give favor continue to heal in every area of our life father god we need you lord we need you heavenly father father we thank you for your precious word and your precious only begotten son jesus christ of nazareth yeshua amashiach in Yahweh save your name amen and today i just want to welcome everybody we're going to be studying about the laws and statues of God. God has statues. Like, you know, they try to tell us like he, Jesus erased it. No, it's not erased. We're going to be judged by these book, by the book. We're going to be judged for all these things that if we don't repent. You see, there are two books. The book of life and the book of death. Is your name written in the book of life? Rejoice. But everybody have a book. There's a history of all of the things that we doing and what we did is we did not repent. When you repent, it's blotted out completely by the blood. See, amen. Washed by the blood. So that is blotted out like an eraser. It's erased by the blood. Amen. And we're going to be studying from the book of Leviticus chapter 19 about these statues these laws that god have this is written and he's you know heaven and hurt will pass away but not one jot of his word verse 1 leviticus 19 and the lord spake unto moses saying speak unto all the congregation of the children of israel and say unto them ye shall be holy for i the lord your god am holy ye shall fear every man is mother and his father and keep my sabbaths i am the lord your god turn ye not unto idols nor make yourself molten gods for i am the lord thy god and let's pause and you see in this leviticus chapter 19 what God is telling Moses to warn the children. He's making these statues. He's making them and he's letting them that, that you must be holy. Even today, we as Christians, we must be holy. All that stuff about going in the church and doing toogie woogie and sleeping with the pastor's wife, husband and the wife running around, getting people, all of that is not holiness. They're mixing holy with unholy, filth. And what God is saying, the fingers on the wall, he's going to call judgment in due season. That's why many of them are sick in their body. Because they didn't, take, they didn't fear God. Men and women of God in the pulpit lying. Men and women of God begging for money, want to buy a $90 million airplane, or $6 million homes. Men and women of God, they claim they belong to God. But they don't. But it says here, every man ye shall fear every man his mother and his father you shall fear your parents as i was coming up i fear my mother more than my dad i fear my parents my mama didn't play and keep the sabbath you must set a day aside according to the book of colossians chapter 3 set your day aside and keep your sabbath your sabbath is a day that you choose to worship god verse 4 turn ye not unto idols now make yourself molten God. Stop wearing these satanic rings and jewelry and you're a child of God. Stop putting on the marine kingdom. Ten pounds of makeup on your face. I am the Lord thy God. And if ye offer sacrifice of peace offering unto the Lord, ye shall offer it at your own will. So some people want to say, okay, they make an oath. I'm going to do this, a vow. I'm going to vow and, and give the churches a mouth. I'm going to do this for this ministry. I'm going to do this for this person. And they, they don't do it. Verse 6. But you do it at your own will. 
Not because a so-called man or woman, a God want to force you to do a double tithe, which is 20%. See, they rob God people. They rob God. And then they get that money. They get it for themselves and their family. And you see, they go on to France and vacation. They go to the Caribbean. They get drunk. And somebody took their picture while they was in Jamaica having a, 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 a good time. Or they went to Brazil and meet up with their girlfriend. Verse 6. And it shall be eaten the same day you offer. And on the morrow. And if you ought remain unto the third day. It shall be burnt in the fire. And if be eaten at all the third day is an abominable. It shall not be accepted. And they had something like a like a offering that when they eat, they celebrate something like Thanksgiving, right? And when they celebrate, they gave thanks to the Lord. But the food that they prepared, they're supposed to eat it in three days and then burn it. After the third day, you can't eat it no more. And that was one of the traditions that they did. Well, they call it Thanksgiving here, and in certain countries they call it. Dia de Gracias. They call it Thanksgiving also. Therefore, everyone that eateth it shall bear his iniquity. He hath profaned the hollow thing of the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. And you see, that day of grace, that day of Thanksgiving, was among the black Seminoles. The Seminoles. In this country, the aboriginals, they had a day set aside. And we know the history of it, what they did. And we're not going to get into that. But we will do that in another day. Amen. Verse 9. And when you reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of the field, neither shall thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest. And thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and the stranger. I am the Lord your God. Amen. And I remember my, my, from my great-grandfather and, and my grandparents what they used to do. They leave the rest of the crop for the widows. And for the single mothers, they could go out there and have the rest. You see, people people don't do things like that anymore. They're no givers anymore. 11. Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie to one another. That's what God say. 12. And ye shall not swear by the name, by my name falsely. Neither shall thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. And you see a lot of people say cuss word. As they speak they're cursing. As they speak they call God name. And they say a, a, a bad word behind Jesus Christ. So they curse God and say they don't want nothing to do with God. All of those things bring curses upon you. Curses upon your health. Curses upon when you listen to those type of lyrics and those type of profanities in a song, you curse your own self and you curse your body and your soul. A lot of people are sick today because they're in violation. And these are statues and laws that God has written in His Word. And very seldom you hear any pastor or Bible teacher in Sunday school teach this. But I'm teaching it because I wish when I was coming up. That they would have taught it in church. But they don't. These are things that the Holy Spirit will teach you. These are things in the word of God. Like you will pick up the word Bible. And you will pray and God will guide you. The Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. 13. Those shall not defraud thy neighbors. Neither rob him or her. The wages of him that is hired. Shall not abide with thee. All night until in the morning. So if somebody work. You give them the money what they work for. You don't steal from them. Those shall not curse the deaf. Nor put a stumbling block before the blind. But those shall fear the Lord thy God. Meaning abusing the disabled. People who are disabled. They get abuse in a nursing home. People do things. There are laws that they've done against people who are disabled. Amen. 
the blind. There's some country where they don't want blind, blind people to even enter into their restaurant. 15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shall thou judge thy neighbor. And this is what happened. We have respect of person. People judge you because of your color, your race, your national origin. If you have a southern accent, if you have a Geechee accent, if you have a Caribbean accent, if you have a German accent, they judge you based upon your color. They give favor. It's called favoritism. They give favor to those people who are like themselves. The judges do. The police department do. Even the doctors do. I experienced it with, in the medical field. Myself. <laughs> it's, a, it's a story. But um, it's for another day. So we experience these things in life. Even in the school system. You see teachers will insult a, per, a child because they're not the right color. They will tell you go back where you came from. They will say you know they just had a, a high person in high command say that you know black people don't know how to talk and that was all over social media then she claimed that she repented amen another thing people don't like certain people living next door to them they don't want them in the neighborhood all these things they go to certain restaurants and they push them out all these things are written in, in, in the law of God and these things are respect of person meaning your prejudice, your racist, your bigot, your antagonistic towards other people because they don't look like you and you feel that they should not live on the face of this earth. That is the spirit of the demons and the devils and the fallen angels. Verse 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a telebearer, as a gossiper among thy people. Neither shall thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Okay, don't go around lying. Don't falsely accuse people. Don't point your finger and say this and let them burn down a, 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 a old town or create other people or up, you know, and, and, and or hang people or shoot people because of their color. You see, don't go around lying, being a false witness in the court. All of these things we see happening today. The Karens coming against certain people and slapping them in the public, calling the police and lie. That means that you're going up against the blood of your neighbor. Remember, the blood of your neighbor is the person who's standing next to you in a the store. They're slapping people, they're calling, they're lying on people so people can get shot and die. 17. Those shall not hate thy brother in thine heart. Those shall in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and do not suffer sin upon him some people hate their own brother some people hate their own breadwin some people hate their own uncle some people hate their own children some people rebuke their neighbor because the neighbor don't look like them they don't like the neighbor they don't want these type of people around them i was just talking about don't and not suffer sin upon him they sin against them they lie against their neighbor they go to the homeowners association the hoa and they lie and they say things about people so they can lose their home Home. amen you shall keep my statue verse 19 you shall keep my statues thou shall not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind mean a cross breeding they cross breed the dogs they produce these dogs also these animals you know, they produce, they, 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 they crossbreed and produce a mule. They crossbreed these dogs for slavery so they could attack the slavery so the slaves won't go around. They made them bloodthirsty, you see? And it said, thou shalt not sow thy feed to mingle with seed. They crossbreed to put the seed, the, the, the gene of a pig inside the tomatoes. They did all kind of stuff and they're still doing it in the land, Monsanto, whatever they call themselves. Neither shall a garment mingle with linen and wool, woolen come upon thee. Don't mix them garments. You see, they then, this talking about animals, but then they use it in the pulpit and say, if a person is black or a person is white or Latin, whatever, they shouldn't marry. That's a lie from the pit of hell saith the lord amen who god put together let no man put asunder so they hate on these little children because they mix they call them mix you see and they call these children bastards but they're not bastard the word bastard is was when the fallen angels came down 
raped the woman and took the woman in, in, in as wives and they gave a bride price riches to the father so they sold their old children into marriage with the fallen angels so when those angels produced the children the children became bastards my name is dr pj god does not create bastard a child who is mixed what they call two different biracial children are not bastards children born out of wedlock are not bastards those who are fallen angel children they are the bastard i study the hebrew my name is dr pj from the prophetic word please give me a like be encouraged i appreciate you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name